two men named Peter about to battle it out for a place in the final of the first UK Open qualifier of 2017. One man who you would expect to see here, one who you perhaps wouldn't. Peter Wright, the unmistakable Peter Wright against Peter Hudson. Six from Hudson having the day of his darting life <laughs> playing in his first PDC ranking semi-final the 32 year old from Eccles in Greater Manchester not too far away he's played in the UK Open finals before he's booked his place there but a chance here to reach a PDC final. Peter Wright knows all about those. He's been the runner-up at the UK Open finals for the last two years. The first man to be runner-up more than once. Doing it twice in a row, Peter Wright. He's, as ever, consistent. Peter Wright has reached the quarter-finals at least in the last eight events that he's played in. Peter Hudson, as I said, Bullseye. never reached a semi-final before in a professional event. Has on the Challenge Tour, won an event there a couple of years ago. But he's embarked on the run of his career today to put himself in this position. Beating the likes of Mervyn King, Rob Cross, Kirk and Shepherd. And just now, Benito van der Pass, 6-4. To get himself to the semi-final stage. Snakebite has seen off Michael Barnard, Mark Barilli, James Wade, Mark Webster. And Steve Beaton. To seal his spot in the last four. Nicknamed The Rock. For those of you that are not familiar with Peter Hudson. 84. And he's certainly put in some rock solid performances today. As Wright fires in the first maximum of the match to leave himself. 96 for an immediate break. It's hard to break a rock, but Wright might be about to do it. Fifty-six. You'll fancy his chances of coming back. He will be coming back for double top. And he pegs double top. Peter Wright takes the lead. Break of throw for snake bites. His run to this stage today follows a 7 4 victory on the opening night of the Premier League. Beating Yellow Class and last night. The world number three. Won eight ranking titles, but not a UK Open qualifier amongst them. So Peter Wright looking to put that right today. Welcome. He's reached the semi-finals in six of his last seven tournaments. Peter Wright, including the World Championship, where he lost out to Gary Anderson. The Grand Slam, the Players' Championship. Reach a final of the World Series, the semi-final of the European Championship. He's just consistency personified. 100. And surely it can't be long until he adds his name to the list of big PDC major title winners. 100. 
always been the bridesmaid so far. Yes. Scored 120, so just needs the big nine to leave double 16. And looking very comfortable in these early exchanges. Hundred and forty. This for a thirteen dart leg. Fourteen it is, holds his throw, doubles his lead. The other semi final over on stream board two is between Adrian Lewis and Ricky Evans. I imagine it's been played at a slightly quicker pace than this one, but no slouches this pair. 100. Have to be honest, I expected to be commentating on right against Benito van der Pass. A big crowd gathered around the quarter final between Hudson and van der Pass, and we knew that it was going close. Hudson coming through 6 4. Fabulous victory for him. 100. Beat Mervyn King 6 0 earlier today. Doesn't have a two a card, Peter Hudson. Tried to. Get one at Q school, but failed in his attempts there as Wright hammers home a second max. Leaves 161. I'd be going for it this time because Hudson is also on a checkout. Just one point in front. I don't think either of those are in. Peter Wright had to check himself. So 40 scored. 65. Yeah, knocks off the odd bit. 96, two data instead of a three data. Sensible shooting from Snake Bites. 122. Can he clean it up in two darts? Well, he might. Doesn't matter as long as the third one goes in, which it does. 3 0 lead, double break. It's all going right for Snake Bite. But it's 3 0 to Peter Wright on this board, but I'm hearing that it's 3 0 on the other board as well. But to Ricky Evans. Wow. 3 1 now on that board. Edwin Lewis has got a leg. So will it be Wright against Lewis, Wright against Evans, or even Hudson? against one of those players. Has to be said it's looking like the world number three is edging closer and closer to the final now. Marvellous day for Peter Hudson. Whatever happens in this match. Two and a half thousand pounds for reaching this stage. Not bad work if you can get it. One foot, one forty leaves thirty six. Thirty six or one three six leaves tops. So Peter Wright poised to take a four leg advantage in this semi final. And he does exactly that. Plain sailing so far. 
the last tournament that Peter actually won was a, a players championship event all the way back in March last year so he's a uh, He's reached a lot of finals, semi-finals, quarter-finals, as we mentioned. Will this be a year where he starts winning more and more tournaments? Will he get his name on the role of major honours in the PDC? Certainly shown over the last couple of years that he's got the talent to live with the best players. I mean, to get to third in the world rankings without having won a, a major ranking title is... No mean feat. Very, very impressive. Perhaps, apart from Michael Van Gerwen, the most consistent player out there. Hudson unable to find the kind of darts that have propelled him into this position. And Peter Wright enjoying this semi-final like a brisk walk in the park. It's kind of fallen apart for Peter Hudson. 58. But look, as, as I said, it's a fantastic day for him. The day of his darting life. Peter Wright, a consummate professional, just getting the job done, it seems. 81. And looks like he's three to six darts away from a triple break of throw. And a place in the final. Down for the 19s to leave double top. Now can Hudson put a bit of pressure on? Another treble. You just can't see Peter Wright missing though with three darts in hand. Unless he's cursed by the commentator of course. But he thinks that's in. It's not Peter. Can he use the dart or is it too close? 30. <laughs> Double checking that one as well. Could be the next player to opt to wear a pair of glasses, Peter Wright. Couldn't see that those had missed the target. You could tell by Peter Hudson's reaction that he'd missed the target with that one. He scored 58, so 48 left. That leaves tops. Right wants double five and gets it and leaves 5 nil. And now he's throwing for a semi final whitewash and a place in the decider of today's UK Open Qualifier 1 and the chance to win his first UK Open Qualifier. <coughs> There have been 20 winners of these events since they started back in 2010. The only man that's won one before is Adrian Lewis of the remaining four competitors, which is probably about to become three. Forty-two. It's just not happening for Hudson, is it? Peter Wright just kind of having a practice for the final. Hudson's been unable to throw anything at him. Not been able to do the kind of damage that he has on the outside boards today to get to this position. Sixteen. 
but what a fantastic position it is is 240 something players around hoping to be there but Peter Hudson is one of the four that managed to get this far it's Peter Wright another fabulous leg leaves double eight for the match this is for a place in the final and there it is, Peter Wright cruises through a whitewash win against Peter Hudson. He didn't rock like he had earlier on today, but a great achievement for him to reach the semi-finals. But it's snaked by Peter Wright, who is in the final, and we will have that very soon. The Dart Show, a brand new monthly show where you get all the news, reviews, interviews and backstage stories. Joining me in the studio is Darts reporter Dan Dawson and former Players Champion Paul Nicholson. The standard really has been rising and rising and rising every year. Whenever you're watching PDC Darts, you've got a chance to see something incredibly special. Now we have the chance to travel with the players as they embark on another year on the Dart circuit. We'll also be on the scout for up-and-coming talent as we look out for the stars of the future. This is a place to get all the up-to-date news from the world of darts.